Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time this reach you, I greet you. How you doing? Nah, for real, how you doing? I know people don't ask you that all the time, but I'm in the habit of it, so do me a favor and drop it in the comments. With that being said, I want to put this out into the atmosphere and hopefully I get it back. My mama used to tell me when I was growing up that if you want something done the way you want it done, then you need to be able to pay for it. And I say that because my mother told me before she passed that she didn't want a funeral. She wanted to be cremated. And I agree with her wholeheartedly, as a matter of fact, because I had the same thought on my mind before she put the thought on my mind, if you get what I'm saying. So at that moment, she told me that she wanted to be cremated. I went and put the money up for her to be cremated along with the money for myself to be cremated and for somebody to rent a car so after they pick my ashes up they can just drive around the city of st louis and throw my ashes all over the place i'm talking about i want to be spreaded throughout the whole city take me downtown throw a little bit of me in front of the arch throw some of me off of the bridge in every little neighborhood set conglomerate or whatever you want to put together county and city take me on the east side i know the pink slip closed but a couple ashes right there and a couple ashes at bottoms up and roxy's and the other little strip clubs just on that side of the water i just want my ashes spread it all over i want to be everywhere at once and saying that the reason why I wrote that change up is because that is the money that I'm going to use to pay for. Yep. In my mind, every year it go up. So I collect my pocket change and I put it in that bank account that I have set aside for the worst case scenario, which is inevitable. People always ask me why I don't have life insurance because my final expenses are already paid for and it kind of make me look at life a little bit different i really want to start telling y'all what's going on but i don't know how to do it and i don't just want to regular put it on my youtube channel and i don't want to put it on the low version of my memberships it's gonna cost you a little bit more to get into my personal business and start seeing how my mind works and what i really really be having going on along with the stuff that i show you that i got going on I just ain't figured it out yet the way I want to. But I'm going to put it all the way together. But that's what it is. I have a bank account that is called the Worst Case Scenario account. If you read one of my books, shameless plug, I'm talking about. Look right in December. It'll tell you about it. Shameless. I'm just, get the book. I would, I would pop the trunk and pull one out and let you, yeah. I would read that little part out the book for you, but I'm not. Mm -mm. You can do your own little research to see that this is not a new idea that I came up with. And on the back end, just straight down the pipeline and to keep it all the way 100 with you. Let me tell you the truth. You want some coffee? Before I get into this complete honesty. Hopefully, everybody that is so uninterested in my life that they don't want to hear this part of it has left the video already. Yeah, I ain't trying to tell y'all nothing that y'all don't want to hear, but there are people that want to know, like, what really be going on. So let me tell you, man, I grew up playing in the streets. And it's crazy I don't really talk about my street life or the penitentiary or any other bad things that happened to me in life because I'm trying to put them so far behind me that I forget about them. But while I was playing in the streets, I lost so many friends and family members and associates and people that I knew. And after they passed, they had to have a barbecue or a fish fry or they were standing out on the corner accepting donations to put my friends in the ground. And I just can't go out like that. In my mind, I just got it kind of set up that there will never be a GoFundMe with my name on it to put me in the ground or have me cremated or however it is or whatever they do with my body after I am no longer in control of it. I don't want that. Like, I don't want that. One of my closest partners played in the streets his whole life, got murdered, and I had to go buy a plate from his mama so they could come up with the money to bury him. And 
I just couldn't pull it off. I can't bring myself to put myself or anybody that I love in that type of position. And back to what I was saying about no life insurance. I don't have any children, so it don't make no sense to have no life insurance. Right? I don't want to leave a large sum of money so people can be fighting over it. You know how, you know how, you know, these color complexion people be about money, especially if it's somebody else's money and they can fight over it. There won't be no rumbling and tussling over a couple of dollars that I had put up that, you know what I'm saying? If you just get where I'm coming from, like, I just don't want that. And I don't want to go fund me. And I don't want nobody to have to be stressing and worrying about what they going to do to make sure that I leave her in some type of good fashion. And I ain't got nobody. So my mama gone, my daddy gone, my grandmama gone, my grandfather gone, my grandmother gone, my grandfather gone on the other side. I am the oldest child from my mama and daddy. It's it, right? It's me. And I don't want to put that strain on none of my family. Plus, I don't really even talk to none of my family anyway. So if something happened to me, they ain't going to know. And when they do find out about it, they ain't really going to care because they don't talk to me no way, if you get what I'm saying. It's depressing on one end and humbling on another. But where I look at it from is this right here. I have me covered even in death. If something happened to me, man, I got me covered. Don't nobody got to go in their pocket or be worried about how they going to do whatever it is that I ask them to do. And once I figure out how to get a, a nice little sum of money, I'm going to draw up a wheel and put a few of people that I jam with in it. And then they going to have to, you know what I'm saying, follow by the clauses of my wheel to even get whatever change it is that's left. But that's it. And for everybody that was concerned, it was $67 and change. I'm going to put it right here. It was $67. I asked somebody on my Instagram and Facebook, if, guess how much money this is? It was $67. If somebody gets $67 or 66 within 50 cents, either way, I'm going to send them something. Just because I feel like that's what you're supposed to do, man, for people taking time out their day to entertain the nonsense that I come up with. Other than that, I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. I'm finna finish this cup of coffee and sit here and think about the fact that if something happens to me, there will not be a GoFundMe in my future. Bring in the logo.